see you. Today we are back with this box of nostalgia candy. I got this on Amazon. I will put a link in the description to, for this box. This is from, um, I think it's called the Vintage Candy Company. And they have several different boxes of uh, types of candies. These are nostalgia candies that are still available, but you might not have thought about in a while. Now in part one, we started with this box, but there's still a lot in here. They have boxes that are dedicated to certain decades, I think going all the way back to the 40s. I think it's like 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. You can get different boxes. And they didn't sponsor me or anything. I just, I wanted to try out one of these boxes because I love candy. I have such a sweet tooth. Oh my gosh. So today we are going to open this box up again and we are going to continue looking at it. Kind of like we do with the, um, the Goodwill jewelry bags where we just work our way through it in a series of videos. We're doing the same thing with these sweet treats. Now we're not going to be eating any candy in this video. We're just looking at it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this box open. Then we're going to slide it over there. I love the box that this comes in. <laughs> it has all these little words and things on it like penny candy, which has not been a thing in a long time, or five cent candy. I remember when I was a kid, there was this, this, um, it was like a country store run by this elderly gentleman. He was very nice. And he had a big barrel full of penny candy. I love that barrel. It was just little hard candies, but you could get them for a penny. I loved that barrel of penny candy. Just little small hard candies. left the flyer in here. Yeah, it's called the Vintage Candy Company. And this little brochure came with it. You can get boxes for different birthdays like 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th, going all the way up to 80. Oh, and the, bo the boxes start in the 40s, it looks like. I was just looking at these. We definitely have to try some of these. I was looking at the 1980s retro candy. It has wacky wafers in it. If you were a kid back in the 80s, you might remember wacky wafers. I didn't know they still make those. Oh my gosh. So it starts back in the 40s. And the 40s box has over 71 pieces. It looks like all of these boxes have around 60 to 70 pieces of candy in them. We have Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, Anniversary, birthday, happy birthday retro, sour candy, get well soon, thank you, happy birthday generic, hot and spicy, oh man, oh we're definitely doing more because I, I love candy, I do, I have an insatiable sweet tooth, okay, I don't know if we'll get through it today, but there's going to be a lot of crinkling, there's a lot of crinkle in these candies. So let's get started. The first piece I have is a jaw buster. It's a big old jaw breaker. Oh, I love these. This I share this with my kids after the video, but I pick out stuff I want first and then I'll let them have what's left. <laughs> I'm terrible. It's a jawbreaker. I will probably keep that. I haven't had a jawbreaker in, oh my lord, I don't know, years. I couldn't tell you the last time I had a jawbreaker. But this one is labeled as a jawbuster. And of course, you have the different layers of candies and their different colors. I love jawbreakers. A jawbreaker. We also have a packet of Lickamade Lickamade Fun Dip candy. Now I don't think this flavor existed way back when. Raz Apple Magic Dip. I don't remember seeing that one when I was growing up. But this stuff is evil. I hate it when my kids get this stuff because it never fails. You have this section here with the powder and then you have the little candy dipping stick. 
and this powder just ends up going everywhere. They only end up eating a little bit of it and the rest of it just gets spilled all over. And it always manages to spill into a crevice of some sort where you just cannot ever get it out. Every car I've had since I had kids probably has a permanent layer of fun dip down in the, the little crevices in the back seat. <laughs> it's good stuff, but I enjoyed it more before I had kids. <laughs> oh, look here. It's a Charms Sweet Pop. Remember Charms Blow Pops? I don't know if we have one of those in here. I haven't seen one yet. I still remember the Charms Blow Pop commercials from the 70s and 80s. This one is flavored. Uh, this is a flavor of blue raspberry. A Charms Sweet Pop. It's kind of thick. Blue raspberry. Oh, we have some little Brock's Hard Candies. These look like they would be um, butterscotch candies, which I love butterscotch. These I would probably keep because I, I know my older son does not like butterscotch. I do. I love Brock's butterscotch candies. They make me think of my grandfather. He loved these little things, the little Brock's butterscotch candies. He, uh, he wouldn't buy sweets very often, but if he ever did, he would get either circus peanuts, he loved circus peanuts, and those little cream drops, they come in that big, like a, almost like a wax coated bag, cream, I wasn't crazy about those, but he liked, the, it's like, this sort of a firm center, and it was chocolate coated, cream drops, and he liked Brock's butterscotch candies, I liked the circus peanuts and the butterscotch, but not those I didn't really like those cream drops. They were, I don't know, they were just too sweet or something. I don't know. And we also have two little containers of Smarties. Now, if you live in other countries other than the USA, these uh, Smarties will be something else for you. But here in the USA, they're these little candies. I think in some places they're called rockets or something. I could be wrong, but... I never knew that until I started making videos and I talked about Smarties and somebody told me that uh, in other countries, Smarties is a, it's a different kind of candy. But these, I got two little tubes of Smarties and we got a Smarties lollipop last time too. And it was a lollipop and it was just like a gigantic Smartie. <laughs> it was so good. I ate it myself. I totally did. Here, this, to me, this looks like the little penny candy that I would find in that store back when I was a kid. It was just little pieces of hard candy like this, or sometimes they were even smaller. But this, this nice man ran this store, and he owned the store, and it was so cool. I missed this place so much. It had, like, hardwood floors in it and a wood-burning stove in there, and he had rocking chairs over by the stove, so you could just sit and talk if you wanted to. And he had that big wooden, it was like a big old beer barrel, basically, and uh, it was full of candy, and it was a penny a piece, and you could get a lot for, you know, like a quarter, you get 25 of these. <laughs> and I miss stuff like that. I really hate that my kids won't ever experience so many little things like that that I got to enjoy as a kid. It just bums me out. We have another jawbreaker. And this one is red on the outside. You can see this one is orange and this one is a darker red right here. Little jawbusters. I don't think the different layers have different flavors. To me, they don't taste any different. And I always end up chomping down on it, trying to break it, even though you're not supposed to. Oh my gosh, look at this. Lemon heads. We have lemon heads. Oh my gosh. I remember getting boxes of these, at, like a little box, and they were smaller. These are big lemon heads. Lemon candies. Oh, yum. I liked the little, um, remember the little boxes of the Boston Baked Beans? They were peanuts that were candy-coated. 
they still make those. I've seen them. I don't know if we have any in here, though. This is probably a sour ball. And here we just have, I think this looks like just a little grape hard candy in, in cellophane. That would be another example of the penny candy that I enjoyed as a child. We do have a little box of Red Hots, little cinnamon flavored candies. Oh, that's adorable. I remember when you could get boxes like this for 10 cents. I know there are more than that now, but it's just loose little, little cinnamon Red Hots in there. The original Red Hots cinnamon flavored candy. We also have a box of Cherry Head. Now, when I was a kid, I don't remember these. I do remember the lemon head candies that came in a little box. Sometimes you could find them in a bigger box. But these are cherry flavored candies. So it's like the lemon head candies, only it's cherry flavored candy. Spiffy. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, do you, <laughs> wait do you see this? little wax lips, wacko wax, wacko wax, w-a-c-k dash o dash wax, play now, chew later. Oh, and they're peanut free and gluten free. If you're worried about gluten and peanut in your lips, you need not worry about these. Look at those little wax lips. Here it says, there's a picture of a lady here, and underneath the picture it says, Her wax lips never interrupt her constant chit-chat, whether talking to family, friends, herself, or her cat. Well, they're perfect for me then, aren't they? Look at those lips. What? I have not seen wax lips in years. I don't know why you want to chew on them, though. I never, I never quite understood these. They're... To me, they were fun for like five minutes, and then I, I just, they were just gross after that. <laughs> I never chewed on them. I didn't, I didn't understand why you would want to chew on them. To me, they were just kind of yucky. Oh, here we go. Here they are. Here are the Boston Baked Beans. Oh, I love these. They're artificially flavored candy-coated peanuts. I love these. These are these are mine. I am keeping these. Well, my older son wouldn't want them because he's allergic to peanuts. But my young, I doubt my younger son would want them either. He's not allergic to peanuts, but I don't think he likes stuff like that. We also have. I remember these little square lollipops. I don't remember who made them, but they look like a little ice cube. It's like a little red ice cube, and they came in different flavors. Um, I was looking to see if there was a name. Oh, it, all it has on here is a barcode and cinnamon. So this is cinnamon flavored. I was kind of hoping it was like cherry or something like that. But on the stick, it says cinnamon. A little cinnamon square lollipop. This thing has a lot of lollipops in it. And we have, oh, we found some of these last time. It's a little ginger hard candy. I didn't see this one last time. I try to pull out, if there's more than one, I try to get them all. And last time, we also saw the little honey candies. My older son liked both of these. He tried the ginger and the honey, and he liked both of them. So he will be very happy to see that there's one more of each in there. That's the most I've seen. Usually, if it's an item with more than one, it's usually just two. So you don't end up with a box full of just one thing. And here we have a chicka stick. This looks different though. Chicka sticks. Oh, I can tell you a story about chicka sticks. This is okay. They've changed these. Okay, I'll tell you about. I'll tell you about chicka sticks. When I used to work, I worked in the pharmacy at um, a local hospital a big hospital. It was so big that the pharmacy was spread out over three floors of the hospital. And they had a gift shop at this hospital. And what I would do, 
some days I would get to work early. And I worked second shift, so I worked usually from 2.30 to 10 or 3 o'clock to 10, um, I'm sorry, 2 to 10.30 or 3 to 11. That's usually one or the other. And I would get there early some days and go up to the gift shop. And they had all these little candies in there, like all kinds of stuff like this. And, it, and I would go in there and I would buy candy. And I would, we had, um, I had my pharmacy smock and it had big pockets. And I would buy a bunch and keep it in my pockets and eat it while I was working. <laughs> and the chicka sticks were some of my favorites. But this definitely looks different. Back when I used to buy chicka sticks, they were orange. And these look more yellow. It is a crunchy peanut butter and toasted coconut candy. I love these so much. Oh my gosh. And it looks like we have a little one, but I don't remember them being yellow like this. Um, it says it has simple ingredients in it. Yeah, it's just uh, crunchy peanut butter uh, in, in toast, and it has toasted coconut in it. Oh, I love these. But back there, this was back in the mid to late 90s when I worked there. And I worked there for about three years. Uh, full, I worked there full time for about three years, and then I, I went to a social work position after I finished my second college degree, but, um, yeah, that's weird. They must have changed them, or maybe this is the way they used to look. I don't know, but I distinctly remember they were more orange than that, but that's okay. I'm, I'm totally jazzed because I don't think I've had any chicka sticks in years. I don't remember having any. And another Twizzler. We had a little Twizzler. We found the other one last time. It's just a single Twizzle one little Twizzlet. It is the original strawberry flavor. And these are my favorite kind. I mean, I know they do a bunch of different flavors, but the, the original Twizzler is still my favorite. Those are, I mean, that's, they're so good. I'm going to eat that. They, <laughs> they won't know the difference. They don't know. They don't, my kids don't watch my videos. They don't, they have zero interest in this. They just want the candy. <gasps> Oh no, look, it's a sugar daddy. It's a milk caramel pop. These things are the best. See, they, they come in wrapped in wax paper. And it's just, it's just caramel. And it's hard as a freaking rock. And it will take you forever to eat this thing. You try to, if you bite on it, you're going to lose a tooth. Because it's going to pull your tooth out like mud. Like that suck mud that pulls your shoe off if you step down in it. That's like a sugar daddy. I remember one time when I was in the sixth grade, they had to sell magazines, and um, you could win different prizes depending on how many magazines you sold. And I managed to sell a few subscriptions um, to my grandparents. I think they got a subscription to something, and my mom sold a couple of subscriptions to people she worked with. Anyway, what I was shooting for, I, I think I ended up with like four or five subscriptions. And if you were able to, to get that many subscriptions, you could win this gigantic sugar daddy. That, I swear that thing was that big. It was humongous. I wanted that thing. It was on a wooden stick. And I wanted that thing so bad. But, see, I had braces. And my mom said, you can only have that if you promise me you're not going to bite down on it. Don't bite it because I don't want your braces to get messed up. And I had to lick that thing and I would preserve it when I wasn't licking on it. I would wrap it in wax paper and stick it in the refrigerator to keep it, you know, to preserve it. I bet it took me six months to eat that thing. I licked it all the way down to the stick. That's what she said. I did. And it was wonderful. And I never bit it because I, I promised I wouldn't because it might mess up my braces. If I had messed up my braces, my mom would have jerked a knot in me and I didn't want that. That's my sugar daddy story. Oh my gosh, look. It's now and laters. Oh lord, I remember buying these. And there used to be this convenience store in the town where I grew up. I remember when it opened. What was it called? Oh shoot. I can't remember. It started with an A. I think. Am, am, not Amico. Amico maybe? The Amico 
gas station and they had all these different flavors of now and laters and they came in these little blocks like this and you have four pieces of candy in here they have apple and grape and strawberry and cherry and lemon and they're kind of like knockoff starburst candies basically it's a little bit harder but I would beg my dad to take me to the, I think I called it the Amico place. Please take me to the Amico place. And I know, I, I think it was the Amico place where we went in. And my dad still tells the story today. He thought it was funny. He has such a memory for little, little things. And, uh, and he, he said that we went in there and I had my allowance. You know, I do chores all week and get my allowance. And we went in there and we went to the Amico place. And I was looking at the candy because I always love to get candy. And I picked out some stuff, and I and I said, I want to get this, Daddy. And he said, well, well, you got your money. You can go pay for it. And I, I looked at him so serious. I said, I don't want to spend my money. I want to spend your money. <laughs> Just as serious as I could be. He thought that was funny. In fact, we, we went had the family reunion on Saturday. He was I heard him telling somebody that story. I'm like, Daddy, that was like 40 years ago. How do you remember this stuff? <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to spend my money. I'll spend your money. <laughs> I don't know if he bought it for me or not, but yeah. I w oh, nobody's getting these but me. These are mine. Oh, these little these little caramels with the white stuff in the middle. Um, I think it's German get gets or something. If I say it wrong, I don't give a shit. Get these things. These freaking awesome caramels. Oh, that's mine. I love these things. That is one of my favorite favorite candies in the world. We have a little, another little hard candy. This one is probably orange flavor. This one, I don't know. I'm looking at that and I'm just thinking it's sour cherry. Little candy balls. Got my balls. I can't see what I'm reaching for. Oh, look at this. It's a multicolored piece of hard candy. These make me think of my grandmother. Now, I have to say, if I refer to my grandmother or my grandfather, I'm always talking about my mom's parents. My dad's parents actually both died within, I don't know, maybe two or three months of each other when I was just two years old, and I don't really remember either of them. So, I, unfortunately, I don't really have any stories about them. So, if I talk about my grandma or my grandpa, I'm talking about my mom's parents. My grandfather died when I was in college. Um, and my grandmother, actually, she lived up into her 90s. She passed away in 2004. Yeah, because I was pregnant with my older son when she died. Because I remember having a hard time finding a, a black maternity dress. For some reason, I couldn't find one. Um, anyway, these made me think of my grandmother because I remember she used to get, and I think you can still get it, these little containers, these little cans. It was like the size of a can of mixed nuts. And it had a little ribbon candy in it. And I know this is not ribbon candy, but the colors of it make me think of ribbon candy. And she liked it, but it took her so long to eat it this woman had so much control when it came to sweets. I have no control. It's taken every bit of me to not eat this as I talk to you because I desperately want to eat all this, basically. But I'm going to wait. This woman, would she would get, and usually it was given to her as a gift, she would get a container of ribbon candy. And it would take her so long to eat it that eventually it would end up all stuck together. So it was just a clump of candy in there. And she'd have to take an ice pick to it to break it apart or a, a, a butter knife or something to chisel. And she'd just get a little hunk off, you know, and eat just a little piece. Let me tell you what she would do with Snicker bars. She would buy, she would go to the store and buy just like a regular size Snickers bar. She would take it home cut it into little bitty pieces, like just little, she'd get seven or eight pieces out of a Snickers bar, and she'd set them on a plate or a piece of wax paper and put it in the freezer and have one little piece of that Snickers bar every day. And I'm like, how do you do? 
I don't have that kind of control. I, I would just, I would have eaten it before I got to the car. I mean, I, you know, I would have been walking through the parking lot just choking on that thing. But she would cut it into little, I saw her do it. I couldn't believe it. Cut it into little pieces and eat one little piece a day. But now she did grow up during the Depression, and I think that changed a lot of people that lived through the Depression. And they just, they learned to ration things and make them last. And my grandfather was the same way. I just, I was amazed. Like, I couldn't, I don't have that kind of control. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Okay. Now, this is another thing we saw last time. This is a dad's root beer hard candy. My younger son ate this. I'm not a big fan of, I don't really like root beer. Both of my kids do, but my younger son said that the hard candy was really good. So he'll be happy to see that. And we also had this too, double bubble bubble gum. There was a piece of double bubble that we found last time. And it looks like we have a second one here. And my younger son has braces, so he cannot have this, although he's very excited. He's supposed to be getting them off at the end of June, so he's very, very pleased with that. He's getting them off a little bit early, so he's really looking forward to it, to being able to chew gum again. <laughs> he hasn't had gum in over a year, well, let's see, over a year and a half. And here we have another one of these hard candies. Uh, like this one, it looks like it would be grape flavor. I think, I'm not really sure. It's kind of purple and it sort of looks like a little grape. Now these two look the same. They're kind of brown. I would guess they're root beer flavor, possibly. Sometimes you just have to try it and see what flavor it is. There's still a lot in this box. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll do one more thing. Actually, no. We had six slits. There was a little, it looks like a six slit is missing, but there are six, so that would make sense. A little tube of six slits, and I told the story of the six slits and how my mother had, my brother and me tested for allergies when we were little, and I still don't know why she did that. She had this full thing of allergy tests done on us. I don't know why. Neither one of us was having any problems. But it came back that we both had a mild allergy to chocolate, so she cut, she said, you're not allowed to have any more chocolate. We were devastated. I was especially devastated. So then she would buy us these things because they don't actually have any chocolate in them. If you read the package, it says they are chocolatey flavored. They can't say chocolate because there's no chocolate. It's chocolatey flavored. Sixlets. It's better than carob. She would Sometimes she would buy little carob, pieces of carob at the health food store, and it tastes like ass. It's really awful. So I decided at least it's better than carob, which... Tastes like, I don't know, man. It's like it tastes like a Yeti's foot or something. It's just gross. Sasquatch's ass sweat. Okay. We're going to look at one more thing. And then that's going to be it for today. There's still more. We're going to come back and look at it one more time. Because there's more. Look at this. Do you remember these little containers of charms? These little hard candies. Oh my gosh. You have all these flavors in here. You have raspberry, lemon, orange, grape, probably cherry. Yeah, cherry. These little, these little squares. And I always thought they look like little jewels. Like if you put it in your mouth for a second and take it out, it, it sparkles like a little jewel. Oh my gosh. Charms, hard candies. I'm dying. I am dying. Oh my gosh. There are so many good memories here. So many, so many candies that I have not thought about in a long time that I haven't seen in a long time. Oh my word. Chicka sticks, man. I can't wait to try these and see if they're, if they've changed any. I don't know. They look different though. They were orange before. I know they were. But yeah, 
thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these fantastic candies today. I have really enjoyed this trip down memory lane, and, and I've decided that we will definitely be doing more candy boxes in the future. Oh, there are so many to choose from. Oh my goodness. But if you're interested in this box, um, several people asked in the last video, you know, I looked on Amazon, but I wasn't sure which box it was. I'll put a link in the description to it. And again, they don't sponsor me. I just thought this box was a lot of fun. And I, I, I was right. I, I thought it would be. And I've really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you also are enjoying this fun little box of nostalgia candy. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again really soon.